Hi everyone, this is Fofa Masaba speaking. Welcome to our channel Nori MNN. If you guys have watched our previous video, by now you are aware that we will be explaining your cell structure. But before we explain the chapter, there is a small topic that needs to be understood in order for us to proceed with the syllabus. This small topic is called the microscopic stray. So first we will start with something basic which is a unit. So what is a unit? Well, let's use the example of a simple ruler with equal divisions. Now when a pencil is placed beside it, it appears to be almost 4 cm long. This pencil can be measured because it falls within the given range. Now what if we want to measure an object that is much smaller than the given range? Let's use the example of a broken glass. Now the width of the glass appears to be somewhere between 0 to 1 cm. But we don't have an accurate measurement for it, do we? We need smaller divisions to get an accurate measurement for the glass piece. Now see, this is 1 mm. 10 mm makes 1 cm. Now if I place the same glass piece with a scale containing smaller unit, I can get a more accurate answer for the glass piece. As you can see, the glass piece appears to be almost 4 mm wide. With this, we can conclude that the distance between the two divisions determine the type of the unit. As you can see, the unit known as centimeter give us an accurate measurement for a large object, whereas the millimeter divisions allow us to measure something much smaller. It will be much easier to say that the glass piece is 4 mm wide than to say it's 0.4 cm wide. Now let's move on with unit conversions. This is pretty simple. Let's remember these as red, blue, green, and yellow. CM stands for centimeter, MM stands for millimeter, the slanted MU thing is a macrometer, and then we have NM which stands for nanometer. Just remember red to be the largest, then blue the second largest, and on and on. Let's make this easier to be understood. C, 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeter. We just learned that 10 millimeter of a ruler made up to 1 centimeter. And each of this 1 millimeter makes 1000 micrometer. This means that between the 0 and 1 millimeter of a ruler, there are thousands of divisions which are called the micrometer divisions. And 1 micrometer is equal to 1000 nanometer. See, red is the largest, which is centimeter, and millimeter is smaller than centimeter, so it's blue, and macrometer is smaller than red and blue, so it's green, and nanometer as yellow, since it's smallest among the given units. So we are going to elaborate on the unit conversions. First, let's understand how 1 centimeter makes 10 millimeter. You can use a ruler to understand this better. Here, I have a ruler that only contains the centimeter divisions. Now if you will look at your ruler, there are smaller divisions between the 0 and 1 cm. Each division is 1 mm. If you count the small divisions, you will notice that 10 of these small divisions made up to 1 cm. 10 divisions make up 1 cm. Hence 1 cm is equal to 10 mm. Now let's understand how 1 mm is equal to 1000 micrometer. This will be harder to understand than the centimeter to millimeter because a ruler was the best example to explain how 10 millimeter made up to 1 centimeter. But in the case of this, between the 0 and 1 millimeter of a ruler, there are thousands of divisions, each of which represents 1 micrometer. Now, what could possibly be so small to be only 1 millimeter wide? Here is an example of your body tissue. A tissue is a collective number of cells. Now, as I've spoken earlier, it was easier to understand how 10 mm made up to 1 cm because your centimeter ruler was able to measure your everyday objects, such as a pencil. But cells in your body are so small that they lie somewhere between the 0 and 1 mm of your ruler. To measure cells, obviously, a much smaller unit is used, which is known as the macrometer. Now before we proceed, I just want to let you guys know that the ruler that we use is known as the centimeter ruler. And then there are rulers called the macrometer rulers as they help measure the macro objects, or objects that are not visible to the naked eye. Now if you guys recall, I've explained the difference between the measurement of centimeter and millimeter using a pencil and a glass piece. Here I'll use the example of our body cells to explain how 1000 macrometer makes up to 1 millimeter. If you notice, the last row of the tissue has 10 cells, 
Each cell is 100 micrometer wide. Now, if you multiply the width of all 10 cells with 100 micrometer, you get 1000 micrometer. And as we learned, 1000 micrometer is equal to 1 millimeter. Hence, the width of 10 cell is 1 millimeter, a 1000 micrometer. Please don't be confused about what I just explained. See, I used the ruler as the best example to explain how 10 millimeter made up to 1 centimeter. But since you guys haven't seen a micrometer ruler, I thought it would be better to explain micrometer to a millimeter to micrometer using a cell. But it's the same thing. If you notice the scale below the tissue, 1000 micrometer made up to 1 millimeter. Now let's understand how 1 micrometer is equal to 1000 nanometer. The best example of an organism that is as small to be measured in nanometer is a virus. HIV viruses are 125 nanometer wide. So 8 of these HIV viruses make up to 1000 nanometer. This means that between the 0 and 1 micrometer, you could fit in 8 viruses.